Hey guys, as you see here, we got our new drone in. Finally came in from China. Here's the remote control. Um, as you see, it's a standalone remote. It does not require um, your phone like a lot of the drone controllers do. As you see, it's got movable um, antennas. They have some buttons on the top. Um, as you see, you pop that a little back and put in uh, three AA batteries. Um, you have your GPS control right here in the front. Um, you have your joystick buttons and um, other buttons that are easy uh, to access uh, without having to go into a bunch of menu settings and what have you as you would in some of the apps. Um, but we'll get to that later <clears throat> real quick. Uh, this carrying case that comes with it is fairly nice. Um, you know, it, it's not too bad. Right? It, it's got some pep to it. Um, and here's uh, some extra um, uh, blades, or uh, fans as they call them, um, and a screwdriver. And uh, also comes with the USB charger, uh, which again does not include the USB adapter to plug in the charger. But uh, if you have a computer or, you know, a wall mount that you use for uh, your phone, you're good. These are some pretty cool batteries, actually. Um, they're interesting uh, design, actually. Uh, so the LiPo batteries are inside there. And as you see, um, you just literally slide this baby in and you're good to go. And I'll show you how that's done. Um, and before we go any further, um, so this is the drone itself. Um, there's the camera, right? Uh, it's got the tripod, aka the feet, right? Um, <clears throat> and if we look, there's the option for um, SD card right there for uh, additional memory. And you have your antennas and what have you uh, all in here. And then you have the camera that can adjust, which is very cool. Um, overall, it's super light, very... Uh, um, plasticky feeling, almost like a toy. Um, I have not run it yet, but, um, we'll see. But it feels overall pretty good. Um, and up here is the on button. You hold it on and it turns on, obviously. And then here we have the bumpers, which I have because, uh, my wife is not, um, <clears throat> an expert flyer. And, you know, it's good to have anyways, um, especially if it's a new type of drone that you've never flown on, uh, it's good to have just in case. Even if you're an advanced flyer, you really never know how uh, using a controller or an app as your controller is going to work out for you. But uh, definitely worth a shot, I would say, to keep them on. Now, they do not come with the little caps on top. Um, which I found interesting when it came in. They didn't have the caps on. I had to literally attach them. Uh, they weren't too difficult to install, but what was difficult were these uh, bumpers, though. Um, so let me show you something real quick. These bumpers, in order to know they're truly on, um, there's a little click that you would normally hear. See that little guy right there? Um, it literally makes a clicking sound. Now, if you don't have the click, you don't have it correct. Um, so that's uh, something to keep in mind. I'll try to do this one-handed. Um, see that click you just heard? So now this goes in. Let's try and put it against the box because it's definitely going to move. Um, so you take it, try to pop that in there. Require some force. But, um, I don't know if you heard it through the box, but it, it did its thing. The cool thing about this also is, uh, the wings are retractable. Now, because we have the bumpers on, it does not work, right? Um, so what we'll do is go ahead and, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but we'll try. Now, it's a little tough for one hand to do, but... As you see, it goes in, but of course, because you have the bumper, um, it's not going to work. So, again, it expands um, and contracts. Um, so, it, overall, it's not too bad, right? So, um, 
it's fairly nicely built. Again, it does feel like a toy. Um, but I mean, most things made in China, including the iPhone nowadays, feel like a, a toy. But uh, it does have LEDs on them, so when you turn it on, it does light up, which is very nice. Um, and then again, the camera in the front. So, let's flip this baby over, and I will show you how to pop in the battery. This is what's cool about it. You can easily go. This would be great for drone racing, right? So you don't have to detach it and hurry up and plug in things. This baby just goes. So, again, go ahead and put this in, like so. Oops, wrong side. Like this. Put it in. One-handed, and you're done. That's it. Drone's ready to go. Pop it on. And the drone is lit up. It's letting us know it's ready to roll. So, there we go. Drone is ready. Once you have your uh, controller on, you're good to go. But other than that, the drone is uh, ready uh, to fly. Um, and, yeah. So, there you go. That's a basic um, unboxing, if you will, of this uh, drone. Um, we got it. Uh, not Alibaba, but I believe it was Ally Express. We purchased it, but um, yeah, it's an interesting buy. It was cheap, um, and we went for the three battery option. So um, yeah, it was you know under a hundred and thirty dollars with three batteries, and uh, you get about fifteen minutes, fifteen twenty minutes they claim of flight time, but you know always imagine it's fifteen or less. Um, Especially depending on how you fly it, if you have GPS, if you're doing constant video <clears throat> and whatnot. But other than that, guys, um, I think uh, that's going to be it. Um, so hopefully this uh, drone uh, might be something you might want to buy. But uh, it does a lot of things. It does following and um, it does some killer uh, HD video apparently and pictures. So if you ever need that selfie drone, especially during Christmas time, or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you do, um, and you're in the slopes and want something following you to take killer video, it sounds like this might be the thing. It does Wi-Fi uh, connection, also GPS, so it can uh, fly home and uh, what have you, and just hit this button to kill it, and, uh, you know, then you're ready to go and uh, roll out. Um, don't know how it does in the wind, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, anyways, uh, it's basically my wife's drone, but I'm gonna play with it while she's not here, um, uh, she wants it for hikes and stuff like that, but there you go, young pro, um, yeah, any questions, ask, we'll take videos, and hopefully we'll have flight videos shortly, too, to upload. Well, guys, happy holidays, and I appreciate most of you for following me, uh, keeping up with me, supporting me the best you can or want to. Um, but, yeah, if you have anything else you want to share uh, or um, help out on, uh, I'm always open to listening. So, Merry Christmas to you all. Happy Hanukkah to you all. Happy Kwanzaa. And uh, in general, uh, hopefully we'll have new videos up before the new year. But if not, happy new years, everybody. And hope uh, 2020 is going to be a killer year for us all. Bye.